I still hate this place and I don't like it. There's just too many people that went through here that uh, uh, what they learned was uh, violence, uh, hate, resentment, and frustration. And they'll carry that through for the rest of their lives. I am an everyday Lakota man. I live in a small community of Wounded Knee on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in South Dakota. Slowly I realized the experience in the government boarding school had kept me in a place where I couldn't seem to go forward, backwards, or sideways. Now the secret is starting to be revealed in the communities and we're really seeing the extent of, of this abuse. The Indian boarding schools were uh, part of a misguided effort to try to assimilate Indians into the American cultural and social mainstream. Children are the core of any family, but especially Indian families. And so the attack on the children and on the Indian families was deliberate and effective. It took my mother and father away. The, uh, and I didn't want them to leave. got me down in this real strange chair. I tried to run. It got me scared. The matrons I just started just seeing my it. hair fall on the floor. Who died so they're cutting all our hair? We had all our clothes taken from us. And being hungry. I remember being hungry, always going to bed. Hungry. We were being Everybody punished, but none of us really knew why. It wasn't punishment, it was beatings. We got beat, there's just about everything. You'd put your hands there and they'd slam the desk down on your hands. The handcuffed Everybody to the bedstead. Hungry. They'd take you downstairs and make you kneel down on either a broom handle. Soap. That's what she used to wash my mouth. Or a pencil. I'll never forget the burning, the choking, the helplessness, the fading out that I went through. It wasn't until my 60th year that I began to realize there was more to me. Something was missing. It was like I was a non-being. I didn't know the medical words of uh, multi-generational trauma or the complex post-traumatic stress disorder. So I called the problem what I felt it to be, in the thick, dark fog. So he started writing down his memories. And shortly into it, he reached a block where he had started talking about his boarding school years. And he couldn't keep talking. It's important that people understand why Indian country is the way it is, why there is all of this social pathology going on in these communities. I think you can draw a straight line from the boarding schools to alcoholism, substance abuse, uh, the exploitation of children, and violence against women in the Indian community. Today Amnesty International releases a report that should disturb every American. Native American and Alaska Native women experience shockingly high rates of rape and sexual assault. I know I uh, slapped my wife around a number of times, but I've always felt bad afterwards. But it didn't do any good because it's a behavior that you're not aware of. You don't know it's there. It just happens. Uh, something will set you off. Something will trigger that. We went to his doctor at the VA hospital and his doctor said, keep talking. As painful as it is, the key is to keep talking. There's some people here in this community that are really, you know, healing themselves. There's a, there's a movement. In Lakota, we say, Dakushkaska, it means that something's moving. Please welcome Walter Little Moon. We still have a long ways to go, but uh, every project that we've developed was more or less a uh, setup for developing self or self-confidence, uh, a little respect, which was completely destroyed. There was too much drinking, people were dying. I'm sharing this because so many people living on this reservation and other reservations across the continent still suffer from these things and I want them to know that it's possible to be free, to gain contentment, and to be a human being. Life on the Pine Ridge Reservation 
in terms of pride, and really in terms of the quality of life is better because of that man, isn't it? Now I stand before you. This is my sweat lodge, this is my vision, this is my Sundance.